In the future that we're building towards, AI agents help you with a lot of mundane tasks. So when I wake up and I need to get, go to work quickly, and my AI agent will find me the fastest Uber to take me to work. When I'm ready for lunch, my AI agent searches local lunch places and finds me my, the food that I love to eat. I'm Scott, I'm co-founder and CTO of Kite AI. And I'm Lele, VP and Global Head of BD. In the near future, we shouldn't ask what AI agent can do, we should ask what human can do. <laughs> I think most of the work will be done by AI agent. AI, AI agent, if you give a very clear scope of work, it's smarter, it's more reasonable, and it will do all the tedious work for you. So in this case, human need to empower AI agent, need to authorize AI agent to do things on behalf of you. You need to just in, in, you know, give AI agents spending rules in this case. For example, you don't want your AI engine to go crazy and go wrong, spend all the money in this case. So I think the, in the future, I imagine all the work will be done by agent and then you will have majority of the traffic interaction, transaction done by agent to agent transaction. And then if the if word is going to go to the micro payment, micro transaction, micro interaction between agent to agent, you don't want to humans then stay in the loop in this case. You want to make sure if there is any conflict, any dispute, automatically resolved by AI agent. That's why you need to have agent-to-agent -agent agreement. That's what Kite AI do, because we build a, we basically a blockchain for AI. We provide a programmable platform for agent service provider provide this uh, agreement with agent user. And then if there is any conflict, there is any disagreement, it can resolve this uh, conflict and dispute automatically. And that's what Kite AI is focused on, the trust layer for a the agentic world. We need a trust layer for AI agents because there's still a lot of fear ab about humans interacting with agents and also um, fear about agents being able to interact with agents directly without any human in the loop or hum human interaction. Every single user will have their personal agent represent their best interest. They will understand the user preference, they will the agent will have their user's wallet, which is authorized by the user, and then the agent will basically discover service agent, and then like for example, I may want to um, write an essay, and then um, I don't know which best service agent help me can you know write best, has best writing. So in this case, they can discover the best writing agent on the platform based on the historical transaction history based on past ratings, find the best writing agent and then um, asking for a service and pay with a stable coin. So that's how like, a normal user will interact with the AI agent and the AI agent marketplace. We are working with PayPal, one of the largest payments providers in the world, to really grow the adoption of agent-to-agent -agent interactions. And in order to do so, they really need a trust layer for these agents to be trusted by their hundreds of millions of consumers as well as merchant uh, customers. So that's why the blockchain and AI layer one is extremely important because agents need blockchain rail to make payments. They can access credit cards or your bank account information, but they're able to pay through stable coins, which run on blockchain rails, um, as well as the blockchain provides an immutable ledger that gives a lot of the attribution and verification, um, and blockchain provides agent IDs through wallets as well. In this upcoming AI super cycle, the payment giant is forecasting 100x number of agents every single year for the next two to three years. In this case, uh, we're going to have tons of the volume of the agentic payment and agentic AI interaction. So that's why all the existing blockchain, for, blockchain cannot, um, be, uh, cannot support this number of the scalability and number of transactions. Avalanche has been a wonderful partner, but also they've made launching an L1 really easy. And um, basically we, uh, we picked Avalanche because launching a Sovereign L1 was as easy as one, two, three here. Um, but they also have an incredible BD team that has been really helpful in giving us a lot of focus and ability to interact with the ecosystem. They've been a powerhouse in many other verticals, including the institutional side, as well as gaming and DeFi. These are all different verticals that um, we have been interacting with and working with to see how AI agents can be built for those verticals. 
They've been giving us lots of resources in different areas, helping with a lot of crypto institutional partners, venture capital firms, um, inviting us to key tier one events like now at the Avalanche London Summit. Uh, so yeah, we've really had a, a wonderful experience here. There are three technical considerations when we select Avalanche L1. First is the scalability, second is finality, third is EVM compatible. Currently, Kite AI today has more than 600 inference per second. Not a lot of blockchain can support this scalability part. Second is a finality. We don't want AI agent users to wait for 15 minutes or even a half hour to make the transaction fi finalize. Avalanche has one of the best finality. It takes less than one second to finalize the transaction. The third part is EVM compatible. 90% of blockchain developer is EVM developer. We want to make sure leverage this uh, EVM developer to help code uh, SLA smart contract between agent to agent. In the future that we're building towards, AI agents help you with a lot of mundane tasks. So when I wake up and I need to get, go to work quickly, and my AI agent will find me the fastest Uber to take me to work. When I'm ready for lunch, my AI agent searches local lunch places and finds me my, the food that I love to eat. And when I come home, my messy home has already been cleaned by an AI agent that has found the local best cleaning service. So it helps me enhance my productivity and makes my life a lot better. So Kite AI just launched our Testnet V2 for community user. We are launching an SDK and API for AI builder to easily integrate their agent with passport verification and uh, seamless payment. And then for the next few months, we are looking for the best AI builder uh, in the ecosystem. If you're an AI builder, if you're building an agent, come to us. At Kite AI, we're unleashing the power of AI agents. Mm -hmm.